there's so many different soil changes as we go up through this hill and it's just section by section and then you get up to the green that sits absolutely perched up perched up <laughs> and it's really perched up it's really really it's got perched. some shade issues too and actually that is on the docket for tomorrow night's board meeting nice look at that no sand Nothing. look at all the roots look at the blue look, look at the thatch level that's actually pretty good yeah that's really really good well i mean most of the time you have a lot of thatch or sand or no roots this is good this is native soil fairways it's really nice for his driver's wear, I was actually surprised I got that deep. Yeah, it's really nice. You are spoiled. There is something said about wood-lined holes and stuff like that, if they're out in the right spots. But when you got branches hanging over the top of your edge of collars and edges of greens and tees. If you can't grow grass under them, you got too many. Right. It makes such a good difference, so. It's all Trees right. ruin architecture. They do. They, they really absolutely do. do. I, yep. Best way to see the architecture, especially this course, and it's probably everywhere, let it snow. Get a foot of snow and go walk it. Yeah. You will see where everything, you know, Move. where every bunker should be, where every, you could just see the lay of the land. It's a problem in Florida. It is probably a problem in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> and if you do see it, that's a real problem. And one of the things I'm a believer in is, is the, the biology of microbes. Um, I spray oh, yeah, microbe. I, those have made such an improvement. I tested them on fairways for a year. I saw enough of a difference that I did tease in fairways the next year. The third year, I'm like, you know what? This is gonna help my greens. So I actually went out twice the rate I was using on fairways on greens. My greens just were awesome. You probably have more microbes than you know because you do things the right way. You don't overspray right. and you under fertilize. So, and you don't water heavily. So consequently, you got the perfect environment for microbes. I think that's why you're so healthy. You got a really good balanced soil. And, and one of the reasons I've introduced the microbes for what I use is they're, they're basically just they're thatch destroyers. It's a similar product. You don't have any thatch. Right. I always say good, most people are good chemists, they're not good nutritionists. I'd see to me, I, <laughs> so this is gonna sound really crazy. I really think with my nutrient program, I think I can start pulling fungicides off the greens. Get this, you won't believe this. I'm a really good nutritionist. I didn't spray the greens at Marion, or the fairways at Marion for 285 days. That's awesome. And they were cut at, uh, they were cut about 165. The but fairways we, were? Yeah, but we caught it, we catch clip, we caught clip. Now they're up around 300, I think. Wow, 165 on fairways. Oh, 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 that's... They benched. <laughs> <laughs>